Hey everybody, welcome to another Muddy Reviews. Uh, today's review is going to be over a headlamp. Um, I have uh, three headlamps on this table. The headlamp in question is uh, this headlamp right here. It's the uh, Night Eyes R170RH. And uh, the other two headlamps are just kind of a comparison. So uh, these both are pencil headlamps. Uh, this is a much older pencil headlamp. Uh, this headlamp has no strap. I actually made a little Velcro uh, strappy thing. So I can uh, strap, I could like Velcro it to my helmet or my plate carrier or whatever. I did that back um, like 07, 08. Uh, this was like the older gen uh, kind of headlamps. Uh, pretty cool, pretty nice little thing. Had a little button, you press it, it came on. And you had your little filter you flip down. And you had a couple different settings and then a flash. Real simple, three triple A's, good to go. Uh, this was a slightly newer pencil headlamp, still really nice headlamp, uh, a lot brighter, a lot more uh, better quality. As far as that, you single button to turn it on. Then you have this extra button to kind of give you a little more juice, get a little extra light. And it had a uh, filter too that slides, you know, to the side. And the, this one was a little different because you could uh, swap out the filters. You could put a green, a blue, whatever, and it was cool. <clears throat> but it was still just a white lamp with filters over it. Nice headlamp, triple A's. Oh, this is where the extra filters were kept. Uh, but it was a strap, a uh, one-inch strap. And it had different functions, like uh, three brightness settings and a strobe. Good headlamps. I love them. And I, I, I'm a big proponent of headlamps. I mean, I'm a big uh, proponent of the whole concept of uh, one is none, two is one kind of thing. So I always have at least two or three headlamps. And with me and with all my gear. Um, but this is the headlamp we're going to be talking about. Like I said, the, the Night Eyes R170. And this headlamp is pretty great because it doesn't require batteries. It is a USB rechargeable headlamp. And I'm pretty confident Pencil probably has a product of similar nature or whatever. But another thing that turned me on to this headlamp was how uh, flat it was. The profile it's it's a little rectangle and it's very thin and it's also hella bright so it's a uh, led and there you go give you guys an idea of how bright this damn thing is to have a red light setting also and they're they're also leds that are built into the lamp and then you can make them flash too so that is what really turned me on to this light was the fact that it was USB rechargeable, so I could bring a small USB battery pack or even just my um, solar panel, and I could charge this headlamp. Another thing I liked about this headlamp, and uh, the fact that it was a one LED strip, and it had the red lights were LED lights that were actually built into the lamp, and then you had the main light LED strip. There was no filters involved. The other thing that was great was... It pops off, so now it is separated from the head strap itself, and it is its own unit. They make other attachments. They make a uh, a Molly attachment. They make a like a ball cap attachment that you can just clip this light into, and then you're good to go. You can operate the light that way instead of just using it on the uh, strap, so, and it clips in easily. And then from there. Got some nice purchase when you're adjusting it. It's got 180 degree travel. The strap is a uh, really nice elastic. It's very, uh, very like robust. It's got a, it's got a, it's got a good amount of stretch to it. It's got good return once once it's stretched out. I don't foresee the uh, elastic stretching out 
too badly over time. That's one of my only real cons uh, complaints with the Petzl lights I've had is the straps stretch out pretty easily over time. Uh, the adjustability of the strap is very simple and very easy. As you can see here. Uh, some of the Petzl lights I've had in the past, the uh, strap adjustability uh, is not as, as simple. You actually sit there and fight with your, your strap when you're trying to adjust it. This one adjusts very simply. My only uh, complaint I have is when you're trying to get to your red light, you have to go white, then red. So if you are trying to be tactical or just keeping a low profile, that's going to fucking suck. So you have to turn your light on like completely secured and you have to know how long it takes to go to red. So you have to like play with your gear, kind of figure that out and know that ahead of time. So that, that is a downfall. I wish there was a way to um, completely bypass the white light and had like a separate button for the red, a separate button for the white. That would have been cool. Uh, they don't have that, unfortunately, at least on this model. I'm hoping maybe future models they'll have uh, a high-vis white light option button and then just a small red button so you don't have to go cycle through to get to your red light because that kind of sucks when you're using this in a non-permissive environment or any environment where you're trying to keep a low profile. But overall, uh, it's a great headlamp. Um, I'm always on the lookout for better lights and better lamps, and this one takes up a lot less space um, than the Petzl, as you can tell. It, it packs down a lot smaller. I mean, the Petzl, it's just it's a much fatter, larger uh, bezel and light. And it gives you the ability to not carry a bunch of extra batteries, which is always a bonus because that means you are going to be able to be a little lighter by not having to have so many batteries. So, um, that's all I got on this video. Uh, that's just a quick down and dirty review of the uh, Night Eyes R170RH. Uh, this was a requested video. Somebody had seen this um, in one of my other videos, there was a prop I was using as an example of what can fit in and out of a pouch, and they had asked about the lamp, so I thought I'd give you a little quick review of it. Um, if you have any further comments or questions about uh, this lamp or these other lamps, uh, let me know, and I'll be happy to go into further detail on those other two, but there, I mean, there's probably a million, million videos and reviews on these old Petzls. Uh, they're like tried and true workhorses. But uh, yeah, that's it. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you got something out of this. Get out there. Uh, play some airsoft. Uh, get outdoors. Get in the woods. Uh, use your stuff. Use your headlamps. They're awesome. Take care.